If you're buying an estate car, you want something that's practical and sensible. So you go for a diesel engine, right? Not according to Toyota. The company that brought you the Prius has put that same hybrid technology into an estate. The Auris Touring Sports. This isn't the first hybrid estate car, but it is the first in the medium class. And that puts it up against some strong rivals. Cars like the Ford Focus, Kia Seed and Volkswagen Golf. Prices for the Touring Sports are competitive, starting at £15,500 for the 1.3 petrol. The hybrid costs from £21,000, about £1,100 more than the equivalent Auris hatchback. But hang on a minute, Toyota also sells a diesel version of this car. So how does the hybrid stack up? I'm not sure what the sports in its name refers to, but like the Prius, or in fact any Toyota, the Aris is very easy to drive. Its steering is light, the gearbox is automatic, and all the controls are within easy reach. At low speeds, you can cruise silently along using battery power only. It's a strangely calming experience, even if you're just crawling in a traffic jam. Hit the open road and the batteries take a back seat, providing a welcome boost for the 1.8 litre petrol engine when needed. In fact, the instant torque or pulling power of the electric motor makes the Aris Hybrid feel a bit like, well, like a diesel. But if the hybrid's at its best at low speeds and around town, it's worst on the motorway where this CVT gearbox holds the engine at constant revs if you come up to a long hill or if you accelerate. Just listen to this. It's quite a droney noise, not very pleasant at all. Hybrid fuel economy suffers on the motorway too. We'll come back to that in a minute. With the battery pack under the rear seat, there's a claimed 530 litres in here. That's about halfway between the Focus and Golf. And you can triple that space by folding the back seats down with these levers. Easy. Which measures every car's boot space in our lab? Click the link to find out more about how we test. So coming back to hybrid versus diesel, we already know that hybrids are best around town. And while we haven't fully tested this Auris yet, the Prius managed more than 100 miles per gallon in the urban part of our fuel economy test. No diesel can match that. The hybrid also makes most sense as a company car. Its super low CO2 emissions mean you'll pay just 10% tax compared to 16% for the diesel. But if you're a sales rep who spends your life in the fast lane, the 1.4 diesel is more refined and will probably be more efficient. Plus, the diesel's about £1,500 cheaper in the first place. You'll also need the diesel if you want to tow a caravan. Hybrids simply aren't designed to tow. Whichever Auris you choose, you'll benefit from Toyota reliability, which was rated excellent in the latest Witch Car survey. So, hybrid or diesel? You pays your money and takes your choice. But is the Auris better than a Focus or Golf? Well, not to drive, certainly, but it is better value and comes with a much longer warranty. So it looks like a pretty safe bet. So there we have it, the Toyota Auris Touring Sports, a very practical and sensible car. Click here to read our first drive of the Auris Touring Sports, or read our full lab test of the previous Auris Hybrid and our top 10 estate car buying tips.